Did you zoom in? Yeah. So, Coachella! Coachella, baby! Coachella Joey gets to put Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> I'm immediately prefacing this video with, it is not a wine video, sorry. This is a Coachella video. We're going to Coachella, baby. I still have like a ton of things I need to do before we head out, but um, we're going to meet up with my cousins and some friends that are out in the desert. And we're just gonna have a fucking fun ass weekend. I don't care what anyone has to say. Coachella is Coachella. Like it is fun. There's no way to have a bad time unless you were like having a bad trip or something but like it's just an awesome and I'm like sounding like I'm gushing but like it's such an awesome way to like discover new artists experience music like see art be with the people that you love be in the desert which is one of my favorite places I, this sounds like this is an ad for Coachella but it's not not sponsored um even though it should be because I've seen, I have seen some of these influencer Coachella vlogs and like, they don't even, they don't even go to the show. I've seen so many vlogs where these girls get set up with like VIP tickets, transportation, food, beverage. They get to stay in like the house of like whatever brand sent them out to Coachella. They get paid like thousands thousands tens twenties thirty thousands of dollars to be there and then they literally don't go they just like film from inside the house and like their outfits that they want to wear they go for one fucking set. i literally saw a girl go for one set and then cut back to the house and said she was tired and that there were no good acts going on until the headliner so like they went home i i'm like what it's crazy. Anyway, I always have a good time. I think it's super fun. So this vlog is going to be not about wine, not about the wines that we drink at Coachella, TBH. I'm going to bring like a couple of wines for like the house to hang out by the pool with. But um, honestly, like I'm more focused on being really hydrated and rested and just like conserving my energy for all the fun things that will uh happen at the festival and beyond um so yeah so this video sorry again maybe not a wine video but these are honest opinions as real life influencers relatable real people can influencers be real relatable people also who knows we can go deeper into that at another time. But anyway, these are our real honest opinions and reactions to Coachella Weekend One.
kind of go to sleep because there was so much energy last night, uh, especially the first night. I, th I think it, there's like this like momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I took a while to go to sleep, but I got I got there. <laughs> Thank you. That was good though. At two at two o'clock in the morning. At I three. Like three. At three. Yeah, three. we went to bed at three. Let's say we had uh, quesadillas at two. Yeah. Oh my God, that's it. Brandon, who was your favorite of the night? Peggy Goo. Peggy Goo. Yeah, sorry, Lana. Peggy Goo fucking stole the show. And then Justice was Justice was a close two. Mm -hmm. And Lana was had her epic moments, but Peggy was so much fun. It would kind of alter my brain chemistry, I think. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Goozy, what about you? Who's your favorite of the night? Same, Peggy Goo. Peggy? Mm -hmm. The queen? Too hard. hard. What was your favorite of the night? Wait, Brian, what did you think about Lana's performance? How'd you feel? Um, I f truly, I feel like it was a movie and she, we were all experiencing it, but it was a long movie. <laughs> it was never ending. I think, to be honest, like it was just, it was her, it, she, lay, she definitely leaned on her strength of looking like a okay. old film noir star and I think it was mm. really incredible, incredible to see that because no one does that. So. Yeah, do you think she was um, inspired by Brian Leon? <laughs> I think she was inspired by me. Yeah, absolutely. What are you writing? Just kidding. Yeah, I was going to write something. Did you see a hologram last night? Me? Yeah, like some of the visuals, she was like a hologram. Wait. No, I didn't see that. Who? What? Or she was like in a different gown, in a dress. I haven't seen anything on TikTok about it. Hi, Andrea. What was your highlight on night one? Why did you just take a flight? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My highlight was definitely, obviously, Peggy Goo. Because I love her so much. She was the best. And you're the little icon. And uh, yeah, I was her little emoji in the back. Even the cowboy hat. Yeah. In the cowboy hat. Oh, I'm not wearing my hoops, but um, yeah, she just like brought like really great energy. But I mean, even though so even though we think that Lana was a little lackluster in some ways, that was still a super highlight for me because I've never seen Lana perform live. But also, I went into it like not expecting her to do more than that. Mm -hmm. I think. Or actually, just was like I wasn't expecting much because she's like a sleeping sad girl. So I'm happy with, if she like went above and beyond that, I would have been like, oh my God, like I'm reborn yeah. or something. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I kind of knew she wasn't really gonna do. Your, like, your expectations weren't that high. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I just like knew she was, but I wish, like you said, she sang more. Cause I could hear her singing in the mic, but it was kind of just yeah. like little bits of the song. It wasn't like her singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Ryder, what was the most beautiful moment of Friday, Coachella? Mm -hmm. There are so many, but I feel like there was like a specific drop that Peggy did where I literally, all I could do was just laugh. Mm -hmm. Like I was just laughing and like looking around at all of all and I felt like a little like angel fairy boy with all my other little angels. <laughs> and it was so perfect, and I love Peggy. I don't know what can top that. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm ready though. We'll see. Stay tuned. Ooh. Brian, are you like this on set? You mean you're paying him? <laughs> no, he's getting paid. It's like the best vlog on the camera. You think so? Yeah. That's what they said. Well, it's great for headshots too. Jelly. My friend Chloe.
I'm like, I'm almost like a set of What did our private chef at Coachella make us today? I made us cheesy eggs. Cheesy eggs? And... Oh, Brian better take his lactate pill. <laughs> oh, really? You lactose until I mean, fuck? I need. Hey, at least you guys want to sleep. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Oops. dark. I felt like it was like a John Baptiste soulful energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. John Baptiste was yesterday. Yeah? Yes, I missed him. I'm so bummed. For Grimes' is fucking sloppy ass set. <laughs> you win some, you know. That was big off. Um, okay. Brian, how did you feel throughout the night? What were the vibes? The vibes were mixed, but mostly great. <laughs> um, I never thought in my life I'd see No Doubt. That mm. was pretty damn. Amazing. I was really epic. Yeah. Um, really, really, like, how many even knew? So yeah. Cool. I mean, it just goes to show, like, you just the age doesn't matter how old you are, you could still perform like a rock star. And mm. she, it's just it's so sick that energy that people elude or exude. It's real hard. And just got better from there. This was just jumping yeah. out. The whole night was good, but no doubt. Unreal. No after, doubt no, after no doubt, I literally could have gone home and called it a night. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Great. I think my favorite part was watching Ryan jump up and down with that mysterious lady and her tit just popped Oh, out. I yes. saw that the first tit was out. Psychedelic Museum. I can't get over like Peggy's set though. Oh, shit. Peggy's is good. Peggy's dude. was so good. Yeah, Peggy's was like a sun. Yeah, I wasn't even high. I know. Can I literally uh, for no, Peggy. Took a pill, right? What do you mean? No, we were shrooming. I was sober. Oh yeah, we were. We were I was Mosvino sober. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't take any drugs sure. that day, so like that's just, and it was still like, the ultra. Hi, like of the like electronic sets, yeah, that was same. my favorite well, for sure. I think DJ Snake topped her. I mean, DJ Snake was sick because it's like so many iconic songs yeah. and like the crowd was just like, was like really the parts, high. Yeah, the, they were just like I feel crazy, like crazy we're drops. We're at during DJ Snake, like we were like kind of like almost in the middle, kind of yeah. Like in the back. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. too crowded either. I was like surprised. It felt like it was gonna be really crowded. Yeah. But it was actually pretty spacious. Um, I like the deluxe sets a lot. 
the do lab sets that were that really thing. good. Chasing status was so hard. <gasps> Chasing yeah. status went so hard. Do you love this? So great. hard. Was, yeah. He's from the UK, right? Like, yeah, it's two yeah. two guys. I yeah. Because I walked away, I was like, I love doing this like a mix of like great like ethnic music. And then, what did they do? Uh, Paris. That's all. That was a cascade. That cascade was, was sick. So, see, I didn't. Cascade. Are you oh, even gay? No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think so after this weekend. Oh, that, I think that, I'm not gonna lie, I think that was one of the best sets for me because Cascade. that's what I felt. And I just was like hugging everybody and I was like, I was just so like in, in it. Yeah. You guys remember? And for recovery day. Oh. Oh, Tate B. They were sick. Yeah, Tate B. Yeah. That was a dubstepy one? The, yeah. Little Wayne. Yeah, then uh, Lollipop. Then, 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 Let's see, I feel like... I'm trying to think of my favorite. Lana Del Rey. Boom. <laughs> 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 Her and Paris reunited, I saw. Oh, they did? Paris Hilton? Yeah, she Yeah, she went out for Vampire Weekend. Ooh. Paris Hilton. Really? No, she didn't do a song, she just played Cornhole. Cornhole. <laughs> yeah. I imagine she's saying stars stars is blind with them. Bye Coachella. Bye Coachella. Bye Coachella. <laughs> He's the only one you should look at.